Apologies to those people I've told to shut up. What the f is that? <laughs> That's weird. I've never seen that happen before. Hi everyone, thanks for clicking through. I'm looking at a Squire Bullet Telecaster uh, that we've just got hold of. Um, it's cheapest of the cheap Telecaster shape guitars actually from the Fender family, Squire. I've never played one. Thought we'd get hold of one and, uh, and have a look and see, see what it's about. Um, initial impressions, it's obviously Telecaster shaped. It's got all the bits in the right places as you'd expect. You can tell it's cheaper. It's got, you know, variety of mismatched pieces of wood. And you may or may not be able to see on the cameras. I've turned the screen off, so I can't actually see what see what you're looking at at the moment. Let me do a nice bit of that. Uh, so various mis mis mismatched pieces of wood there. Uh, Squire badge on there. Reasonable tuners. I mean, now I know they're, they're, they're kind of cheap, cheap version of Grover style tuners. But compared to the tuners that used to be on the cheap Epiphones, like the £130 Epiphones, I had a, a Les Paul Special 2 once, which was cheap, cheap. Great little guitar, but the tuners were really, you know, made of cheese, so you had to replace them straight away. I'm, I'm suspecting that these tuners are okay. The next nice, nice, nice little satin feel on this, got the skunk stripe on the back, looks good. It's a, it's a fairly thin profile neck, which is good for beginners, which is what this guitar is obviously aimed at. Um, it's quite heavy. It's not the lightest Telecaster. Um, not, not that that's really a problem, but it is quite, it is quite weighty, this. It's got the Telecaster style standard bridge, the standard pickup arrangement, um, tele bridge and neck. <laughs> There's quite a distance between those and the strings. There may be a little bit of adjustment needed there, but uh, this is what they sound like. Uh, so the bridge pick up on full. <laughs> nice open sound. It's just back volume off a little bit. Telly twang. Definitely got that twang.
enough of that. Yeah, it's all there, isn't it? I mean... You know, 130, I think it was 135, 139 pounds. Um, it needs a bit of a sharp, it's got some, some dead frets, unfortunately. So it's catching down. They'd need sorting out. Um, which is it's just a shame actually because I don't think I don't think it's just a I don't think it's an action thing I think that's just the frets need a bit more of a, a bit of a I believe they call it a fret dressing but that's a luthier job for most of us anyway um, which you know is going to cost you know, I don't know an hour or so's labour which does add to the cost of a guitar so it's definitely worth considering that making a decision on whether to go for the cheapest or perhaps something that's not going to going to potentially have fret problems you, you you can tell that this is that's where the skimp they are they do feel sharp i know people go on about sharp frets and i often think oh well, you know shut up really but actually you can straight away feel it when you're doing that so apologies to those people i've told to shut up it is a thing. Sharp fret ends. It's not going to cut your hand or anything. But it's not the most comfortable experience. But the action's fine. It's very playable. actually caught talking about talking about a fret job the e string's actually caught on the edge of the fret there look it's kicked itself onto the edge of the fret there so if any further proof were needed that the fret ends are a little bit sharp and sticky out the top he actually caught on one. So, not a bad little thing. Um, jury's out a little bit whether or not it's the best uh, 135, 135 or £139 you can spend. Uh, we should probably get a hold of some, a range of super cheap guitars and uh, compare them to see which is the best bang for buck. What you can't argue with is a proper Telecaster, made by Fender. It's got all the right parts in all the right places and they're all the right shape. So you could do a lot worse, to be honest.
very much.